okay, it's all good, dog. And I would fully side with you. I would side with you. I would draw you in. Oh, it's cool, dog. Like, my bad. Hey, my bad. And then I'd wait for you to get lax. And then, boom! Ooh, you're odd, showing off. How old are you? I'm 40 years old. You consider yourself a high value man? I don't give a fuck about that. I'm, I'm not even man. I ain't even human. I'm an alien, bro. I ain't even real. I don't even exist compared to these motherfuckers. I'm a figment of everybody's imagination. You can't even, nobody can even get to my level if they tried. Nobody can get to his level of delusion, that's for sure. At that time in prison, there's a lot of prison politics. Hmm. At that time, I was the shot caller for the block. So then, what is what is the shot caller that means for the block? It means it, all, you, all you guys, if you're white and you're in the same building as me, you have to fucking listen to me. It doesn't matter what the fuck I ask you, you have to do it. That's what it comes down to. I don't believe you. What do you think the issue is with modern dating right now? I mean, too many men hurt a lot of chicks to where they don't want to commit really. And so there's just this weird fear of like commitment. So everyone's transactional. Everything's transactional in Wesley Watson's world, including women, apparently. You'll see that later on in the video. Uh, how do you feel of uh, like about women with kids? Because I, I think your ex had a baby. I right? would have loved. I would have loved more. Because that, that almost seemed like it was perfect. Because she had a kid already. Yeah, I would have loved more than anything to raise her daughters and shit. Sam, you single? Married man. How long you been married now? Uh, two years. My second marriage. The first one completely was a disaster. What was the biggest lesson you learned from your first marriage that you took into your second one? If she's got face tattoos, it's probably a bust. But apparently there weren't enough to scare you off in the first place. Yeah, I think I could save them all. So I always try and it f***ing wears you down. It just it'll suck all your energy. He's actually being honest about this. This guy loves saving women, especially single mothers. First he married this one. You end up marrying Wes Watson. What attracted you to Wes? It was a very vulnerable time in my life. The stress of like, hey, you still have to be a mom. You still have responsibilities. Life still keeps going. It doesn't stop. You know, of course it was, you know, let me help you. Let me take care of you. Let's work on it. Did you like that? That he was Mr. Fix It? He was that yeah. guy? Never say. Wes Watson tried to save this woman, raise her kid, and she still cheated. It's an evil world we live in. I've been cheated on by my ex-wife, right in my fucking face. I've been fucking just... How, how did it feel like when you were cheated on? I, it fucking broke me. I wanted to be with her forever. I'm very committed. Like, I was did raising her... Did, did, did it hurt Yeah, I was raising her son. And I caught her in the car with another dude. A car I bought her that she was all excited about. And fucking... And I, I, I like saw the- You, you didn't she, go you didn't go in there and beat the crap nah, out of them? They, they like drove off and almost crashed into my rolls and they were in like a G-Wagon. And then like, I just, I was like, what the fuck? I don't wish anyone getting cheated on, but I'm not gonna lie, I do find it hard to have sympathy for a man that trusts a single mother that looks like Harlequin, bruv. She looks like she come out of Gotham. But there was still a part of me that felt a bit bad until you find out that you replaces her with another single mother that's not just got one kid, not just two kids but free. Huh? So what's the biggest difference between your ex-wife versus your current wife now? Current wife has no face tats. I mean, they were both single mothers, which most people think is like really difficult in the first place. Do you like, still talk to your ex? No, nah, I tried to, but she thinks I'm a piece of shit, obviously. You post a hot, hot ass chick after, they want to see you do worse. And Wes Watson only upgrades. This yeah. is a, it's not going to happen. Like, I'm not going to do worse. My next chick will always have more followers, be prettier, be more of what I need. I need someone who likes the fucking lifestyle. I'm not too sure about another single mother with more kids being an upgrade, but... Anyway, Wesley became a family man. He started making videos of him. He's talking about him on podcasts. You have a beautiful house. I don't know if you're married, not yet, Yeah, right? we're married. I love the videos that, <laughs> you're, that you're posting now. Like, would, now you're a family man. I would, give, I would give my daughters and my wife all my money. In fucking life. And the reason I got so successful is because I don't and negotiate with what I got to do. Mm -hmm. I was just down the street at a very successful man's uh, shop where I, I dropped my wife off to get um, some beauty stuff done. You dropped your wife off with a... Well, as, as, a some, you don't fucking go there. I'll fuck you up right here if you say anything about my goddamn wife. I swear to fucking God. Uh, so don't say nothing right there, bro. I was just... Stop right there. Stop right there, okay? And don't say anything about dropping my wife off. I dropped her off at a beauty place. I was curious. Okay, yeah, but you were starting to go somewhere, right? I was just curious. Yeah, but 100%, don't go there. I'm, I'm now it looked like Wesley finally had his happy ending until recently people found out that his second wife left him. 
Can't imagine why. Fuck you want me to learn that for? And I talked to my, I literally talked to my chick like this and she gets so fucking pissed. She's like, why do you talk to me like this? I'm like, you want a fucking yes man. I'm not a fucking yes man. I'm telling you what the fuck will work. Do you want results? Or yeah. do you want to just feel good about your fucking feelings? And she's just like, you're horrible. But Wesley don't care. He just moves on, he upgrades and he gets one that looks exactly the same. You guys, she's not even trying to get a job or do anything. She's not even trying to do nothing but sit by the pool. She said, what'd she say the other day? She said, no, I just want to be a hot wife and sit by the pool all day. That's what she said. Now here comes a little bombshell. It turns out that his new girl that he's flaunting all over IG is everyone's girl. Because allegedly, he's renting her from an escort site. <laughs> So not only does Wesley rent his mansions. 9,500 square feet, three floors. Wow. The best furnishings. Or should I take the elevator or should I take the stairs? But he also allegedly rents his women. You gonna go in this bar? Oh yeah. And who's that? Oh, it's Mr. MVP, Sam! This just adds to the lies he's already been exposed for and shows that everything this guy does is an illusion to trick people into buying his courses. The courses you have to pay thousands for just to get screamed at. What's up, Wes? Just wanted to uh, hop on here real quick and thank you for everything. I know you don't got a lot of time, but... If you're not asking a does... question, I'm going to fucking kill you. Okay. If you're not asking a question, I'm going to fucking kill you. I told you I was here on motherfucking time. Are you going to ask a question or are you just saying thank you? Because you could fucking text me that motherfucker. I don't take it kindly. I don't give a fuck. Do you have a question? The question is, as I get more one-on-ones, at, at what point do I restructure the offering? Wait till you to... get there. Jesus Christ, bro. Like, why, why are we talking about hypotheticals? You're not even close to that. Or one-on-ones right now. Oh, my God. Should I just hang up, you guys? Oh, no. If he has six, he may have to opt out. Everyone can physically slap Robert when they see him in person. Wes Watson. I text him. He hits me back. Yo, what's up, big dog? I'm like, hey, how you doing? You know? And he's doing his whole shtick. For 2,500, you get this. Comes with blah, blah, blah. Five grand, you get this. Comes with blah, blah, blah. I'm already seeing red flags because I'm doing the, the math. And he's saying, I make X amount of million dollars a month. And I'm thinking to myself, even if those three were the high ticket item, you would have to sell this many a month. That means you would have to talk to this many a month personally. So I was like, okay, I'm still entertained. I can still get something from this. So he's like, I'm doing a mastermind, Miami. This is what you get. Day one, blah, 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 day two, day three. And, I, and I'm listening to it and I'm like, so really all I get is dinner with you and some pictures and to be on your videos and that's going to draw attention to me because I'm with Wes Watson. So I hit him up. I said, how much is it? So he's like, it's 15 grand. And I was like, to hang out with Wes Watson for three days, I don't know. Fast forward right after the thing, he's like, he's on uh, his story. All you, all you haters want to talk about my cars rented. He's got the title. Lamborghini, Wes Watson. Bentley, Wes Watson. So I was like, bro, who cares? Like, who the fuck cares? Why would you even waste your breath on these people? And this guy messages me back. You don't even have 15 grand, so shut the fuck up. Why are you even talking? <laughs> I was like, what? You can't even afford to come to the fucking mastermind. You and I'm just like, dude, yeah, I'll yeah, slap it, it, the shit out of you. I, I ain't gonna lie, you're an even bigger muppet than he is if you believe everything he says and you invest in anything that he's selling. The guy is clearly delusional. These guys are not the men like me. They're not an alpha mother up to gangsters my whole life so i'm gonna sell that i'm gonna sell yeah. what we are like i just did more time than most of the motherfuckers i grew up with i'm more validated than them i've i did my time better like i mean sometimes i want to go back to prison to show everyone that i could go to prison and come back out and do it again motherfucker. i literally go back and forth from my places that are 10,000 square feet on different sides of town and drive any car i want eat anywhere i want do whatever i want my mind is way far past what anyone could even fathom as possible. One of my earliest videos, I said, I don't even participate in illness. Has anyone seen me get sick? <laughs> Hasn't happened. This watch was 500,000, paid no taxes, paid 310 for it. I have multiple of them. One of them matches my Bugatti that's 5.5 million. See, now I'm starting to fully understand why Andrew Wilson triggered this donut so much that day. Flashback. I do think that a rejection of materialism is something missing in society, and I do think that true wealth is the family. Being able to go home and look your family in the face and know that you're doing everything you can to support them.
And then when I think you go to the successes. beach with your family, they're like, there's my stud dad right there standing there. My dad's a superhero. Look what he brought to the table. Look how hard this guy works. He came from sure. nothing to this. Yeah. He works very, he works, he's, God damn it. You're still whining. Stop whining. That, that and is just a make an product. I, dude, I'll smack your fat yeah, ass. So you're going to attack okay. You're going to attack All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Nobody's all right. Do you usually attack this armed men in I Florida? Talk, <laughs> you, dude. All right. He called. Look Let's at just... your goddamn self. Okay, guys, guys, I've guys, never guys, seen guys, such a pathetic mother. Okay, well, let's chill out a little I'll... bit, man, a little bit. This is not what men let look him, like. Let's let what do they look like? Point. Fucking shit. What do they look like? Bald prisoners? Yeah, fuck, is that what they look like? Th th right, this is the problem him, in let's... society. Is people like this think they can talk to someone like me like that. They really think they can. He, he knows he wouldn't do shit about it, and that's the problem. I mean, you're the one who got hostile for having a difference of opinion. Dude. Check it out. You started coming at me about some other shit. Jesus yeah. Christ, men don't have tits. We can agree on that. Physically. Men he, usually have he hair. Has, we can agree on that, too. He has Physically. crossed over gender barriers. Wes Wilson's got the cars. He's got the money. He's got the muscle. But I think the one thing that he doesn't have that Andrew Wilson has, and the reason why Andrew Wilson triggers him so much, is because Andrew Wilson's got a loving family. If I, if I had to snap my fingers, I'd like to have kids, like, right now. Yeah. If I could snap my fingers, I would like to have a little daughter right now. What, why a daughter? I don't know. Just it's what my heart tells me. I just I'm a family man. I always wanted to be a best house in Miami, Venetian Island. I have every car you could imagine pulled up in a six million dollar Bugatti, and I still just want to take care of a family. And that's something that you can't buy, and something Wes Watson will never have if he continues to only care about materialistic shit, and if he continues dating escorts.